Okay, this is number two from the 2011 uh, AP exam. And we're looking at primarily an electrostatics problem. And we have a solid copper, copper sphere of a 0 0.2, 0 0.12 meter radius and an overall charge of 6.4 times 10 to the negative 9 coulombs. And we want to determine the electric potential a certain couple distances away from the center of the sphere. So the first one is kind of a trick question. Not really a trick, but a trap. We are still within the surface of the sphere. And for a sphere of uniform charge, pretend that's a nice sphere, okay? Anywhere inside the sphere itself will have the same electric potential as the surface has. Remember, this is electric potential, voltage, not electric field. We start to get further away, then that voltage will drop. So we will treat this problem not as if we were inside the sphere, but we were actually at the surface. Because remember, the f electric potential at the surface is equal throughout the in and uniform within the entire sphere. So for A, our potential, kq over r, the r that we're going to be using is indeed 0.12 meters. We have to use the distance from the center. We're treating it as if we're solving for the electric potential at the surface. That's the catch. A lot of folks will put 0.1 or even subtract the 2, and that's not it. It's 0.12 meters. And we're going to get uh, 480 volts. Now for part 2, we're going to be 0.24 meters from the center. We're going to treat it as if it's 0.24 meters from the center, and that's the number we're going to use. Because now we're outside of the sphere, and you always treat the center of the sphere as the distance reference point. So 0.24 meters away is the number that we are going to be using. So 9 by 10 in the 9, 6.4 by 10 in the negative 19, or negative 9 coulombs. Then we're going to do 0.24 down here. And you'll notice that means we've doubled our distance, so our voltage should be cut in half, and it is 240 volts. Now we need to do a sketch. Pay attention to the word sketch. You don't need to empirically show your numbers as long as you have relative trends that are correct. Uh, so we're doing a sketch of the voltage versus the distance from the center of the sphere. Mind you, while we were inside the sphere, anywhere from the dead center all the way to the surface, we have consistent voltage, and it was 480 volts. So we're going to have a horizontal line up until we get to the surface. Now that we're at the surface, we begin to decrease in electric potential. And we're going to decrease. This is an infinite relationship, meaning we can get infinitely far away and still have a little bit of voltage there. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be approaching zero but never get there. So we're looking at a curve as it approaches zero. And that's it for part B. C. We now want to determine the electric field at 0.1 meters from the center of the sphere. Also kind of a trap question. Remember the rule for conducting spheres. The s below the surface of any conducting object, anywhere in this region, the electric field will always be zero. And I can go through and do all the vectors and describe that to you, but I'm not going to. At this point, we ought to just remember that. Anytime you're below the surface of a sphere, the electric potential, the electric field, sorry, is zero. So E for part one is zero. Now, part two, totally different story. Once again, we need we're, we're no longer at the center of the sphere or within the within the surface of the sphere. We now need to re again uh, consider this as a point particle and we're 0.24 meters from that point. So for part two, we're looking at the normal equation for electric field, kq over r squared. You could do your 9 by 10 to the 9. You could do your q of the 6.64, or sorry, 6.4, times 10 to the negative 9 coulombs. And we're going to divide that by 0.24 meters squared. 
and you're going to get an electric field of 1,000 newtons per coulomb.